one hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Hello and welcome to Wintry Cardiff. The early morning hours brought some snow showers which has put the winter services into full action. The sudden drop in temperatures seems so far not to have impacted the progress of the terminal building site, but it looks like it could become a cold winter, so it will be interesting to see how it will impact the progress of the project in the coming months. Over at the terminal we find a Swiss Avro 100 that has come in from Basel about 15 minutes ago. A catering truck has already pulled up and will jump into action as soon as the last passengers have deboarded the aircraft. Next we have an Embraer ERJ145 of British Airways that came in yesterday evening from Glasgow to where it is scheduled to return in about 10 minutes time. Boarding has however been delayed a little, so let's see if the aircraft can be turned around in time. And then we have an Avrojet 100 of SN Brussels Airlines that has arrived 10 minutes ago from Brussels. Right now passengers are deboarding the plane and the luggage is being offloaded. The return flight is scheduled for 20 minutes past 8 in the morning. An aircraft that already arrived yesterday evening is this Fokker 100 of Helvetic Airways that is serving the Cardiff Zurich route. The return flight is scheduled for half past 7, so the first cargo is right now being loaded and preparations for the flight are picking up. Then we have a late arrival with this Boeing 737-800 of Pegasus that has just landed from Izmir. The aircraft was scheduled to arrive yesterday evening, but had to do an unforeseen landing in Zagreb where it had to stay overnight due to a medical emergency on board. Luckily the return flight isn't supposed to start before 9 o'clock, so a untimed departure of the return flight to Izmir should still be possible. Being de-iced right now for its next flight, which will bring the aircraft to London Gatwick, is this Boeing 737-400 of British Airways. As the icing will take at least another 10 minutes, the aircraft will be leaving with a slight delay this morning. Resting in the stand at the moment is the 757-200 of Monarch, which won't be deployed until this afternoon, when it will bring tourists to Palma de Mallorca with a scheduled departure at quarter to two. And with that, it's time for the news. GAT opening. The new General Aviation Terminal was officially opened and will handle all private and general aviation in the future, as well as be the new home of the Cardiff Flight School. Northwest Airlines. Today the confirmation came that Northwest Airlines will be opening a new route to Cardiff by next year, bringing a second US route to the airport. Maastricht route. After the collapse of V-Bird, the airport management has been on the lookout for a replacement. Sources close to the matter now confirm that Cardiff Airport is in advanced talks with Transavia as a possible candidate for the route. Ryanair return. After Ryanair had ceased all operations at Cardiff following a dispute over airport fees, the airline has now in a surprise move announced that it effective immediately will be returning to Cardiff after a new deal with Cardiff Airport was agreed upon. At the remote stands we find the CRJ200 of Eurowings which came in from Düsseldorf 10 minutes ago. Passengers are right now entering the bus that will bring them to the terminal. As soon as deboarding has finished, preparations for its return flight will start scheduled for 8 o'clock in the morning. 
being prepared for its first stint of its return to Germany is this EAJ-170 of Cyrus Airlines. Right now catering is loading the aircraft that will be heading out to London City at 5 minutes past 7 in the morning before it will continue to Mannheim City Airport. Just now the crew of this Tupolev 154 has arrived at the aircraft that is scheduled to return to the Russian capital at quarter past 7 in the morning. And next to the Tupolev we have this Airbus A320 of Erlingis that arrived from Dublin late last evening. Right now the first cargo is arriving at the aircraft that slowly will be prepared for its first flight of the day that will be returning the aircraft to Dublin at 7.30. And then we have the A320 of VBIRD that was impounded by the airport in October when the airline went bankrupt. The aircraft has remained at the airport ever since, but it looks like the dispute over outstanding airport fees soon will be put to rest, enabling the leasing company to retrieve their aircraft, ending an aviation chapter at Cardiff Airport. And now let's head over to our furthest remote stands to see what's happening over there. Taxiing towards the cargo ramp, we find this DC-8 of DHL filled up with, well, probably Christmas presents. The aircraft was originally scheduled to fly to East Midlands, but was ultimately redirected to Cardiff by DHL dispatch. It will remain here until later in the afternoon, when it will return to New York. At the temporary ramp, we have an Avrojet 100F of TNT that came in from East Midlands about 45 minutes ago to where it will be returning at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yesterday evening, this Lockheed P3 Orion of the Royal Norwegian Air Force arrived at the airport and has remained at the airport grounds ever since. It is not known when and to what destination the aircraft will be leaving next. Then we have this Embraer EIJ-145 that according to the schedule should be leaving for Manchester right about now. That flight has however been cancelled due to operational reasons according to the airline. Not cancelled and therefore on its way out is this Boeing 747-200F of Saudi Cargo that after an overnight stay at the airport now will be returning to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Holding short at the runway right now is this Bombardier Dash 8 Q300 of Lufthansa that will be returning to Munich as soon as it's received its takeoff clearance. And blasting down the runway right now is the 737-200 of Ryanair that, as we heard, has returned to Cardiff again. The aircraft will be heading back to Dublin. And I'm just hearing that there are some breaking news coming in. Final report of flight JK457 published. Within the report, the complete timeline of the accident that occurred in December last year at Cardiff Airport is being described in great detail. Over the last 12 months, the investigations into the crash focused on the following areas. The at the time malfunctioning ILS system of the airport, which eventually was ruled out as cause of the accident. Pilot error, which also was ruled out. Spanair maintenance records, which were thoroughly looked at and resulted in a reprimand of the airline, however ruled out as cause of the accident. And weather conditions at the time of landing. While aircraft that still had landed prior to the Spanair flight had reported good conditions on the runway, the investigators concluded that prior to the Spanair flight touching down, weather conditions had rapidly decreased and created black ice on the runway. As the Airbus A321 touched down, it hit black ice, causing the aircraft to skid off the runway, during which the front landing gear collapsed. The airport was advised to improve on runway inspections in wintry conditions. 
The incident resulted in zero casualties and only minor injuries to passengers. However, the airframe was unsalvageable and had to be scrapped. Now with that, we have reached the end of this season of Cardiff. If you have enjoyed the video and the season, then please feel free to leave a like, which really would help out the channel. And if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? Thanks so much for having watched and see you in the next season of Cardiff.